Hello, my name is Tony Berman, and I will be the instructor for this English 202 course. Eight weeks, whew, should be exciting, should be a little bit intense. Uh, I'm making this video because I want to give you a thorough overview of all of the expectations. I'd like to talk about the course interface, I'd like to talk about the course content, and I'd like to talk about a typical week. So, good news. If you're watching this video, then obviously uh, you were able to access this homepage. And this course homepage acts as a launch pad in that if you're on this homepage, then you're one click away from the materials and the assignments for any given week. So if you take a look at the bottom of the page, I have links to each week of the course. And at this point, if you were to click on week one, you would have access to all of the materials, the readings, the little lectures, uh, and the assignments for week one. I also have links to the other weeks, although uh, some of the materials in those weeks will be modified, or I may add something, uh, depending on how quickly or how slowly we're moving through the materials. So I'm giving you the links so that you can get an understanding of what we'll be doing for that given week. Uh, but um, there may be some modifications as we get closer uh, to that week. Okay. Now, if you were to click on a week, you can see that what I've done is broken the week into two due dates. Uh, and for this first week, we have materials due on Tuesday and on Thursday, although that's atypical. Usually, uh, materials are due at 11.59 on Monday evenings and at 11.59 on Thursday evenings. Uh, and so that gives you a few days in between uh, to do the work uh, for a given due date. Now, um, for a given day, I provide links to all of the materials I'd like you to take a look at, uh, whether those are articles I'm asking you to read, uh, short lectures I'm asking you to watch, uh, uh, links to concepts I want you to become familiar with, or even links to the assignments. So it's all right there. So you can see that I give you the links to the materials here, and then just be below the materials, I give you links to the assignments for a given day. And so for the first week, you have all the materials for Tuesday, the assignments for Tuesday, the materials for Thursday, and the assignments for Thursday. So what I've tried to do is streamline and make everything as straightforward as possible, uh, such that you can't get lost. Uh, so I hope nobody gets lost. Now, uh, let's move forward here and let's address the actual content. What is this course about? And to do that, let's take a look at the syllabus. Uh, first, a couple of nuts and bolts. Uh, I have my email, uh, my direct email on the syllabus. And if you want to get a hold of me, I suggest that you use that email, aberman at miracosta.edu. Um, uh, because we're working online, that's probably the best way uh, to get an answer to a question. Uh, and so uh, I always get back to emails within 24 hours, uh, although uh, I often get back to them much sooner than that. Okay. I also have office hours at the San Alijo campus if you ever want to talk to me face to face. Uh, and we can also schedule appointments if you can't make it down to San Alijo. Uh, so uh, if you need to talk to me, if you want to work with me face to face, we can make that happen. If you want to just contact me via, via email, I'll answer questions there too. Cool. Now let's talk about the course itself. Uh, the course is called English 202 Critical Thinking and Composition. And so let's break that down. Uh, we can think of the term composition to mean writing, and we can think of the term critical thinking, at least for this course, uh, to mean persuasion. And so really, throughout the next eight weeks, we're going to be investigating how texts persuade. We're going to be analyzing how the texts we read persuade, and we're also going to be constructing persuasive texts. And so there are four major units in the course. Uh, and um, the first and the fourth units are a little shorter than the second and third units. So there's really some heavy lifting in those second and third units. Uh, we spend about uh, two weeks on the first unit, maybe a week on the final unit, and then uh, the rest of the time is devoted to uh, those second and third projects. Um, 
If you take a look at the syllabus, I also encourage you uh, to read what I have to say about the responsibilities of an online student. I've tried to give you some advice there uh, that helps you uh, as you try to organize a schedule uh, that will allow you to be most successful in this class. And in a sense, that leads to the final point that I'd like to address, which is the typical week. Uh, if we have the materials for a typical week here, uh, let me explain what that means to you in terms of workload. Uh, materials are due twice a week, and what that means is that you'll be reading articles, uh, familiarizing yourself with new concepts, and watching lectures. So that's one thing you'll be doing. Each week you'll also be writing uh, these writing journals and you'll have them due each day. So you'll have a writing journal due for the first day of the week and you'll have a writing journal due for the second day of the week. Also, typically, you'll be uh, drafting a major assignment or a component of a major assignment. And so often you're uploading some of that work as well. And then there are also discussion boards. And so uh, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing for each week. And so I encourage you to set up a consistent schedule. So if materials are due on Monday evenings and Thursday evenings, then I suggest that you devote uh, uh, maybe Monday mornings and Wednesday mornings to your English 202. You want to make sure that you're giving yourself big swaths of time to familiarize yourself with the concepts and then to go ahead and do the writing uh, for a given day of the week. Okay, So uh, that's just a little bit of it. advice. Um, I hope you take it uh, as I think it will help you be successful in this English 202 course. Welcome to English 202. I'm looking forward to the next eight weeks. Take care.